Hi folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, store a QED file into a CSV file. So we're in the ClickView script at the moment and we have a table that we took in from a CSV file which is a YouTube views by date and country. We then store that into a QED file called YouTube.QED and for uh, purposes of this video we're then going to import the QED file back into ClickView and try and store that QED file back out as a CSV file so what we're going to do is I'm just going to copy the file path so we can use again now shortly and I'm going to delete the rest Um, actually briefly I'm just going to show you, I did run this earlier on and I created the QED so the QED is in the directory and then what we're going to do is we're going to import that QED file just click finish um, I'm going to say store I'm going to give that a name which we're going to call it YouTube So we're going to say store YouTube into and just paste the file path from earlier on. We have to surround that by square brackets. And then just at the the end we had YouTube, we're going to say dot CSV. And I'm just going to copy the before desktop, I'm just going to copy that because it has dots over here just in case it doesn't move. So, I'm just gonna so the file path here is correct and the file path here is correct. And then we have to determine, we have to tell ClickView what the format of the CSV is. So, we press enter and we say open parentheses uh, txt, comma, delimiter is. And then in single quotes, comma, because it's a comma separated value file. Close parentheses and then semicolon to finish off the state. So if we click reload, we should. We've got a YouTube.qvd, so once we click reload in here, it should go to the same file path where the QVD was stored in, and then store in the YouTube.csv. So hopefully this works, click reload, Let's click OK, go into the file and then you can see just above the YouTube.qed, you've now got a YouTube.csv. So that's basically how you take a QED file into ClickView and then store it back out again into CSV file. I hope that helps and I'll see you next video. Cheers.